Hello, welcome back to my channel again. Today we have Lico 139 word break. So this question is really popular and you see a lot of like, often asked by Facebook, Amazon, and more. Uh, let's take a look at this question. So given a string as and a dictionary of string, word dix <laughs> return true if s can be segmented into a space separated sequence of one or more dictionary words. In short, it basically means that you have a string and a race of string. If you can use the word dict uh, in here to make it uh, this string using the word inside here completely, then return true. If it's not, Let's take a look at example here. Lead right here, code right here. So it's fine. Apple again, you, we have it. Pen, we have it. And Apple, we also have it. So you can use a word inside to combine this word. But in here, dog right here, there's only one word in here can be used. So dog right here. And also we need to combine to find the words in here to combine this uh, string, which is not really possible. You can find any S-A-N right here, end up with S-A-N. So uh, it's not gonna work, so we turn false. So basic idea is, let's draw um, the example lead code right here. We first, we create a Boolean array but we write out like this, so it's easy to see. So you can imagine this is all false at the beginning. It's a Boolean, so it's all false. Now it's index zero all the way to uh, the end. Now we can first look through the whole entire string. So we have an I, look through that string. So I will keep moving to the right. So every location it land, it will check another Y. For example, if I is here, keep looping, looping in, until T. So next for loop is Y. We create a Y, loop through zero to the T to grab everything like first we grab y is zero so zero to i which is l e t if l e t is inside this word dict or not so if this have well, this word in this word dict then this location will have a true here this is how it is and since this, this one is true, then next time when we move forward, when i is right here, it will check from zero again, all the way to the, this location. Basically keep checking L, L, E, L, E, E. If, if one of them in uh, the dictionary, so we'll have this location as true. Yeah, and just keep tracking of that. Uh, and we find out this is true. And then we keep looping the I all the way to the end of this array. First, we check if the whole things, whole entire things inside the word dig or not. So it's not. So we keep moving this Y pointer to here to here, to here, and to here. So now there's a checking, like if the previous one, sorry, uh oh, if the previous one, text draw, if the previous one here is true, then we check this location, which is C O D E and check it uh, if it's in the word or not. So if it's, if that is in the word then this location should be 
true. So these two conditions met, then this location met too. Uh, it's kind of confusing, so let's jump into the code right now. And also leave this right here. First, we have a Boolean array called table equal to new Boolean. Uh, the link, it will be the link of the string. So next one, we have i equal to zero. That loop all the way through table dot link. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then now we have i. Also, we need to have int y equal to zero. And y is less or equal than i. We need to look through this one by one until you met with that i location. So y plus plus. And after that, we need to check only two conditions. We will check it. So when i is equal to zero or that table y minus one is true. For example, in this situation, if i is right here and y is right here, so that means this everything before that is true right here. Does that mean everything before that? I already check that have words in there. So now this condition met, and we are checking anything after that. We're looking for the word to combine together, right? And also y is equal to y, I mean, y is equal to zero, then also need to check. So at that situation, check if the word date contain a sub, um, the sub string. What is that sub string? Sub string is right here. So y is right here, i is right here. The sub string will be y i plus one. If this is true, then what we can do is put this location as a true, which is where I located the table I equal to true. After you found the true, then you break it. Break this for loop, break one for loop only. So this I is already found it. So we can move the i forward. Hmm, yeah, that should be it. Um, at the end, when you loop through the whole entire thing, we have to check the last uh, location right here. If this is true, that this whole entire word can be combined with this word date. Then we return if table, table sling, Minus one is true, and it should be it. And let's erase um, this code. Try to run it one more time, and it looks good. And that's it for this question. Uh, if you have any question, please comment it below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible until we meet as time. Bye bye. See you next time.